Acquisition settings. So for the simplest way to take a picture um, in any color or in bright field on the microscope is to use the locate tab here. And what we're gonna do is come down to the camera settings here. And basically you're just gonna adjust your exposure time and that should be all you need to do. We might even adjust the, the gain a little bit. Um, just to, in case you need a little extra light, you can boost it by putting uh, 2x gain. And then down at the bottom here, there's also the histogram. And I'll teach you how to do that as well. You can use the best fit or even the auto, um, or even try the min max. And then you can slide these, this slider on the right back and forth and we'll go over and go through a couple of those options too but really once the settings are set um, your exposure time is going to be the main one that you're going to be using just sliding the slider back and forth until your image comes into shape into good shape on the screen on this live image pane um, and then what you're going to do is just hit snap whenever it's ready um, so again this is just on the locate tab and this is for a single image of any channel, either bright field or any of the colors. So let's go ahead and go through that right now. So the microscope's on. I suggest keeping the controller at 100%, um, just because this is a pretty low light uh, microscope um, for the, optic, uh, the optical pass-through of the lights. It's a stereo microscope. Um, and plus, it'll just give you the brightest. You just want the brightest light coming through. So. For now, I'm gonna put the change to the bright field position and I'm gonna turn on the bright field light back here. And so now we've got light coming up, um, but you'll see on the screen, still nothing. So what I wanna do here is go to live and there's my screen. Now, I have white light down here, so why do I have green light up here? Well, that's just because right down here in this little box, I just have to change the color to white. Right there. And now it's white. Okay. And I'm going to do a reset on this histogram just so that it's fully open like that. And now I go back over to here. And we can adjust the time until our image comes up. So I'm just sliding this time slider until I see my sample. There it is. So in bright field, there's plenty of light. So obviously, um, if it starts high, it's going to be white. So it's oversaturated. So you just drop it down and slide it way down. So you're you're gonna be pretty low on the milliseconds. This is 1.3 milliseconds, as you can see here. <clears throat> so now let's say we wanna to go to the fluorescence. So I'm gonna switch this. I'm gonna turn off the light on the base and switch this over to green. And I wanna turn on the shutter here first, which it'll look like, so it's 100% here now. Let me change this zoom. And if I push this button on top, you see the little indicator there with the little flat, it looks like the light is on, see? It's like sparkling, so I push that again, it goes off, push it on, it goes on. So now we have green excitation light, and in the eyepieces it'll look red. But again, on the screen, I'm seeing nothing right now. So I'm gonna do the same thing we did before. I'm go back over to my exposure time, and I'm gonna increase that up until I start seeing it on the screen. And there it is. See here, I'll reduce it back down again. It's black, reduce back up again, or increase it, and now you can see it. Okay, so that's really all you need to do, is just slide that time slider. And you, don't, you shouldn't have to worry too much about these other um, binning and uh, gain positions, uh, features. And then down here, this is just, uh, you know, if, it, if your image isn't looking quite bright enough, you can sit, hit best fit and it kind of improves the image or auto. And if you want to see it in color again, 
we're still in the locate tab up here. So this is only for taking a single snapshot image. So if you want to adjust the color, just click on the color down here and select which color it is. So this one is red. I'm going to click red and you see it's nice and red. And to get rid of this box here, you just click anywhere down here. And that's it. So now I can take my picture. I can adjust this back and forth. If the background's looking a little bit too much or it's looking too, too bright of fluorescence, drag this middle one back and forth and see what that does for you. So sometimes you're getting some a lot of auto, um, auto fluorescence in the background. You wanna reduce that by dragging this left. This is the gamma. Okay, so not only can I reduce it by reducing the exposure time, oops, too much, but I can reduce it like this and have a really nice crisp image knowing exactly where I want my fluorescence to be showing and without all that background noise. Okay, so that's the optimal way to do the adjustments. I did a best fit, that shrinks it down like that. I even dragged it in a little bit more and then I reduced my gamma down and that gives you that nice crisp look. And so now I can just snap my image. So I go up here and I hit snap and it saves it up at the top. And I can click on that, see my image. I can do more adjustments now to this, however you want. And you can snap it again if you want or save over it again. Sorry, that was a right click on the screen. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. And then you can take this and go ahead and save it. Save as and name it whatever you want. And I would suggest saving everything to the D drive which is a backup drive. So all of these groups and thing and, and names, all these folders should be stored right here on the 00, zero data drive. Okay. And then that's what that drive is for, for all the data and it's two terabytes. So there's plenty of room for everyone. And it's a backup drive. So if it crashes or something, you can always uh, take it out and recover it. The C drive on this is only for programs and things. And you definitely don't want to have things on the desktop or in the documents and things like that. So best place is just do it on the data drive. The D drive, zero, zero data is the folder for everything. And then you just hit save. So there you go, so that's your imaging. Uh, very simple to take a single picture and to adjust everything.